Hey everybody, my name is Jesse Showalter, and today we're going to be doing a really simple and easy screencast on how to update Mod X from older versions to newer versions. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and kick over to um, our site that we're going to be updating for this screencast. And uh, you'll notice it's actually the same uh, project that we've been working on. Um, in another series of mine called Basic Mod X Implementation. I'll put the links down below, or I'm sure you can find them on the right hand side. But for now, let's go ahead and update it. Um, you can see if I kick over to our admin panel that I am currently working on 2.2.10, which is an older version. Um, and so uh, they've gone all the way through the 2.2 series. And as of this screencast, um, it is August 1st, 2014. Um, just last month they came out with the newest version, which is 2.3, and then immediately updated 2.3.1 for a few bug fixes. So we're all the way up to 2.3.1 right now, and we want to know how to update to that um, newer version. Well, um, I will say that Mod X doesn't have one of those easy one-click update or upgrade kind of uh, buttons or processes uh, like a lot of other content management systems or softwares do. I think Modex is working on that right now but in the meantime um, it's not that hard to actually upgrade to the newest version. So if we just kick over uh, to the documentation um, we can see it's really easy to follow these steps but I just wanted to show you um, you know, as, as the years roll by and Mod X versions go up and up and up, it's always good to have kind of fresh content on the web, video screencasts of people walking you through how to do this. And so this is for an upgrade. This is not for a server migration or anything like that. If you're looking for, for something like that, I'm sure I'll have another screencast out uh, for that later. But for right now, let's go ahead and get started. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and update this site right now. And so if you actually look, I've... What I've done is I've, I've opened up Transmit, uh, which is my FTP program, and now the documentation and a lot of people will recommend that you don't do any of this by FTP, uh, that you use SSH and uh, load all your files up onto your server uh, via SSH. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that, and although there's a danger of FTP corrupting or, or dropping a file here or there, um, it's always kind of worked for me. A very few times have I had like a corruption and when I've had one, it's been easy to fix. And so um, for me, I just do FTP. Um, I'm sure we'll have comments of people saying otherwise, but you can see that um, I have, uh, what I've done is I've just hooked my FTP stuff into my local host. So you can see I'm, I'm working on my local host here. So this is actually everything going on my computer. I'm, I'm actually running uh, this project using MAMP, my own local production environment. Um, and if you don't know how to set up one of those, I also have a helpful video on how to run MAMP in a local production environment. So you can check that out as well. But you can see I have um, all my files for my ModX lesson here on my on my computer. And then I also have uh, a fresh download of the newest version of ModX. And so to get that, you can just go to modX.com and uh, in the top left, you should be able to see Get ModX. And so we want to download ModX Revolution. You can see here's the newest version, 2.3.1. And the traditional download or uh, installation should work just fine for you, unless you have some sort of advanced something going on. Um, we'll talk more about that in, in another episode. Um, but this is where you can go ahead and download that. And so now that we've downloaded that, what we're going to do is in Transmit, because the reason I use Transmit is because they have a merge function, which um, you don't get in all FTP programs. Um, so what we want to do is just grab all the files from our um, what we would call our local host over here. And this is uh, imagine this being our live server and we're just going to go ahead and drag all of those files all the files up and you'll see it gives me the ability to merge so I'm going to go ahead and apply to all and I'm going to merge and that's going to go ahead and take a while so that's the magic of technology we are all uploaded we went and fast forward and what we're going to do now is just kick over to our site and you can see um, if you refresh the site everything is still working um, although the manager and the dashboard and everything might not work that great. So what we want to do is just go to slash setup uh, because we will have uploaded a new setup version of that. And we're going to click select and next and just go through the upgrade existing install process. Um, 
We can see if you've done everything right and you've merged and not overwritten anything, you should get green lights across the board. Um, if you don't, some of the common things you'll see is your um, core config file got overwritten and so you need to go back and put in your all your database information or sometimes the um, the other config files um, inside of the um, let's see you can usually find those inside of the manager the connectors and right there in the root file or the root directory those may have gotten overwritten as well and so you just want to go back and make sure everything's in tip-top shape and then go ahead and continue the installation all right, it's, it's finished the installation. It's giving us the summary and the green light. And make sure that you've checked um, this to delete the setup directory. That way nobody can go into your site and try to reset it up and mess things up for you. And click login. And this is funky. We shouldn't have gotten this at all right now. But I'm hoping it's because we haven't... Oh, there it is. We just had to refresh. And so sometimes if you haven't cleared the cache, you might get some sort of funky results. Um, so let's just type in our credentials. So there it is. We're logged into our new um, 2.3.1, the newest version of ModX that's out running. You can see it has an entirely different... Not entirely, but very, very different... Um, interface it's it's smoother it's cleaner it's a little bit more modernized um, and so I encourage you guys to update um, keep updated as it's good for security um, and it keeps your sites a little harder for people to hack away at if you have any questions uh, let me know if you get any errors or anything uh, just read the um, documentation and they can kind of walk you through some of those errors um, and that should pretty much get you there you can, so you can see there's our old one there's our new one. So let's just press refresh and see what we get. Boom, there we are. We're completely updated. All right. Well, that's all for this uh, screencast. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. hope it helps some of you guys out. Just a friendly walkthrough. It's sometimes helpful. So until next time, see you later.